We covered off the nested carousels before in the Elemental 3.14 beta, but let's have a look at it now that it's live and out there. Now, you got to make sure that in Elemental settings, you have activated Flexbox container over here and the nested elements. You can have the grid container if you want, but the nested elements and the Flexbox container is a must. Sign up your widgets, go and type in carousel. Now, here's the thing that might confuse a bit of people, and I've mentioned this before. It is now known as the carousel. This is the nested carousel. A lot of what we have over here, we're kind of used to with the loop carousel came out a while ago when we started having the loop grids with Elemental. But the new carousel, which allows you to kind of mix and match things is this one over here. What is the difference between the loop carousel and the nested carousel over here? The loop grid is where you go and insert a template and it's going to kind of repeat it or loop it. So you might decide to pull through your posts or your products or whatever you want and you can add in custom fields galore. But that is related to posts and products. We're not using that. Instead, we're going to be using the nested carousels. Let's go and drop that in over here. Now, what you get are basically like a carousel. But the beauty about it is that now you can put into here whatever you want. For now, I'm just going to get rid of um, the other two slides and just start with one slide because sometimes what you want to do is you want to create the perfect like slide and then you end up duplicating it and then you tinker with it a little bit or maybe you add in something completely different like you might have text, text, image or you might have image, video, image or anything like that. Look, what you have here is the ability to now drop in whatever you want. I can be very dazzly and just go, hey, let's go for something like this. So here we, inside of the carousel, let me just show you here inside of slide one, which, by the way, is the parent container here for the slide. We have two child containers as well. However, this child container also contains two grandchild containers as well. Sometimes I do think though that we overdo it with the way we have built this with too many containers. And if I was building this, I, I could always argue with, do you need the grandchild containers? If you're very clever with your layout, you can actually do it without using them. However, that being said, the beauty about this is that is I can add whatever items I want inside of it. So let me just show you into this child container container here, we're going to drop in a heading and we're going to drop in an image as well. I'm not going to give the image anything to look like. I'm just showing you where the placement is. And into this child container, I'm going to drop in a text editor and we'll shorten it down. And I'm going to drop in a video as well. And into the second child container or grandchild container to be exact, I'm going to drop in a button and a heading that is all sat within slide one of the carousel. And if I just click back over here, there's slide one. I could now if I want, well, obviously you might give it a name or something like that. By the way, when you do do that, it does glitch almost a little bit, but then it comes back into view like this. So don't worry about that if that happens. But if I now go and duplicate and duplicate again, there's a little bit like glitch movement, almost like a CLS going on here, cumulative layout shift, but then it all just fits back in. And look, I'm just going to go and duplicate this many, many times, which is probably a bit pointless because you, you're not going to see much. But the beauty is that this is a carousel. OK, so if I go down to settings and I say, let's just set the speed to be two seconds uh, like that. Let's just hit update and preview it. You're going to see it moving every two seconds. I know it's not very imaginative, but I just shoved in a container and I dropped items in. Some people have said, oh, I want to have a carousel where I've got a mixture of, say, uh, videos and images and text and, you know, whatever. You can do that here. And don't forget, you could, if you want, insert, like, if we go to slide one, I could drop in an image, drop in a heading, link it to an actual post by putting in a URL in there. In fact, I could do it for the entire slide if I want. I could go down here set the HTML tag for that entire slide to be a link and it could now link to another page or to a post. So if you imagine now you got video, video, image, image, whatever in your slide and you got a post as well because you want to highlight that to them. You could even have a call to action in there with text over the image. You click that and it takes them to the post for that particular slide. This is an example website, by the way. So please don't start going, what kind of single post template is that? 
just a test website. But can you see how you can have a lot of fun here now with your layout? You could be telling a story or something like that. You could be giving them like images of a product and then your third slide over here might be more details with a buy now button. You can do what you want. And that is why the nested carousel known as the carousel in the widget list is a great addition for Elemental. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life. I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the back, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.